less is more. It's one of those things you hear quite a bit in any artistic field. And when you're painting in an impressionistic style, that idea of less is more is very prevalent. When people start doing portrait drawings and portrait paintings, usually the first instinct is to be as accurate and realistic as possible. And that definitely relates to me. When I was first starting with any portrait drawing when I was younger, I wanted to get every little detail, everything to be as perfect as possible. It wasn't until the last 15 or 20 years that I really wanted my paintings to be looser and get into more impressionism and expressionism with my work. And I think this change happened because I was really getting tired of working on all these little fine details and not really gaining any emotional impact. But as I started to get looser and looser with my work, I started to realize that there are a lot of other aspects of Impressionism that I really enjoy, which pushes this idea of less is more. The first idea I'd like to talk about is capturing the moment. Impressionist painters are always aiming to capture the immediate impression or sensation of a scene or a moment. They want to convey the way light, color, atmosphere, all interact together in a given instant. And to achieve this, they have to work very quickly and efficiently using the fewest amount of brush strokes and details. At this part with this painting, I'm trying to apply these exact ideas where I'm painting very loose. I'm not trying to worry about all the exact details. I'm building in the shapes and getting the blocking done with the fewest amount of brush strokes possible which I find really helps to maintain a very nice, loose, impressionist style painting. Another principle that I think really gives another less is more approach is the idea of just emphasizing light and color. Impressionists are always interested in this effect of how light and color work together. And they believe that if there's too much detail, it could detract from those qualities. So by using broader strokes and simplifying the forms, they could better represent the interplay of light and color in their works. And for me, this is very much a big aspect of what I'm trying to do. I love the play of light and color, but light always comes first with my work. When I start, like this painting is at that very beginning stages, I am focusing mainly on my tonal composition because without a good strong tonal composition where your light and dark is more or less locked in, it's going to make adding color to it more difficult down the road. The third thing that I think is sometimes overlooked as why Impressionism is so important is it really creates a lot of viewer participation. I know here at my studio when we have open studio night every first Friday of the month, when I have people walking through and checking out my work, it's so cool to see how people sort of fill in the blanks with some of the things that I don't show them in my paintings. Maybe they'll see themselves in the painting or see a friend in the painting or somebody else they know as being the actual subject of the work because my portraits are so loose and expressionistic and impressionistic the viewer starts to use their own creativity, almost like looking at a cloud, how people see things in the clouds that aren't there. They could point it out to somebody else and they don't even see it, but for them, the viewer, they see it. And that's what makes the experience for each viewer unique. So the bigger the brush strokes, the more you lose details, the more you're going to ask the viewer to engage with your work and fill in the blanks completely on their own. For a fourth example to why less is more and how that applies to impressionist style is something I really didn't appreciate until later on in my journey as an impressionist style painter, and that is atmospheric effects. Something I never really thought would happen with painting this way is this sudden shift in having a fairly flat painting where it just felt lifeless and all of a sudden I had a lot more atmosphere happening. Maybe it's because the edges are a little softer or it gives that sort of feeling that it's immersed in a very thick environment with almost not really a fog, but just it's just being affected by light and atmosphere in a stronger way because of all those loose brush strokes. With this painting, for example, I've 
gone past that point where I'm just worrying about light and dark and I'm starting to add some color, but by building up color the way I have, it's starting to add more and more atmospheric effects. You can almost feel that the subject is just fully engulfed in some sort of just very dramatic environment. And that's what I really love about painting the way I do is that it creates a lot of drama and a almost haunting feeling to the image. The fifth point I thought I'd make about less is more and how that applies to having less detail is it allows you to break from the rigid rules of having to do everything by the book and making a painting look just like the image or just like the subject you're referencing that can all be done by a camera now there are some great hyper real painters out there and they do some amazing work but for me i just find that if you're going to do something that realistic you might as well just use your camera that's just my thoughts on it no shade to people that want to do their paintings as realistic as possible it is a great technical skill but you're really not allowing yourself to break the established norms to allow yourself to experiment with expressive forms and searching for what could be a brand new style that's never been done before. And that's exactly how my journey went when I started with just straight up impressionism. It's amazing how it allowed me to just start thinking in new and fun ways. And after years of playing around with different approaches and different concepts that's where i am today with this painting where you're seeing my impressionism grow into more expressive things and who knows where this will lead another five years from now another 10 years from now this could lead to a whole nother breakthrough and that's what this will allow you to do is to have the ability to grow and let your artwork evolve finally the last point i thought i would make is about the emotional impact which i touched on a little bit earlier but this could be one of the most important reasons to paint in this style is that it will give the viewers a connection to your work. It will put them in a place where the mood and the atmosphere of the scene is more visceral, which is something I'm always trying to push as far as I can with each of my works. Now, if you're wanting to try something different and you're a little bit too tight with your work, you wanna loosen it up, try the impressionist style. Think less is more when you're painting. Try to remove some details and you will get a lot of these great things happening like capturing the moment, emphasizing light and color. You'll get more viewer participation and the emotional impact of your work will really come through if you try some of these ideas. If you do wanna learn more about how I like to paint, check out my Patreon page. There's a lot of great tutorials on there. You'll get a lot of insight into how I work. Thank you so much for watching another one of my videos. I will talk to you again next week.